A shrimping vessel lost at sea will stay there. The sunken vessel went up in flames Friday, forcing the crew to abandon ship. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez spoke with the boat owner. She's live in our Cameron County newsroom with more. Dolby Linwood says the shrimping vessel is a loss of about $200,000. He has no plans to recover the boat. That doesn't mean the impact of the loss isn't being felt at the shrimp basin. Two to three shrimping boats are lost at sea each year. Boat owners at the Brownsville Shrimp Basin weren't expecting it to be one of their own this time around. Charles Burnell says it's sad his comrade lost a boat, but is glad everyone made it out alive. It's just common sense. When a boat gets hot, you get off of it, you know, and, and uh, there's always a danger of explosion. Years ago, Burnell lost a boat off the shores of Florida. He says the monetary losses are substantial. He says replacing a boat can range from $300,000 to $1.5 million. Now his fellow boat owner, he says, needs to focus on catching as much shrimp as possible. So the other ones just have to catch up the slack and hopefully he can earn enough money to, to buy another boat or <clears throat> no way to replace that boat except by buying a second hand boat. We went looking for the owner of the sunken vessel. Dolby Linwood didn't want to speak to us on camera. He tells us he's now left with four shrimping boats. He says the boat will stay at the bottom of the ocean. He doesn't plan on replacing it either. He says he'll be retired from the industry by next year. Linwood tells us crew members reported the fire started in the engine room and had no option but to jump ship. They had been out shrimping for just two days. Everything was lost, their lives spared. Texas Shrimp Association Executive Director Andrea Hans says the loss of this boat means there's now some crew members without a job. I know in some instances um, if you have a captain crew that's been with you a while, you're going to need to take care of those guys um, monetarily for, for the time that they're not able to go out fishing. She says the effects also trickle down to the supporting shrimp businesses in the area. They always bring in quite a bit of shrimp every year. Um, so we're, we're going to be lacking that amount of shrimp that will be uh, offloaded possibly at Texas Pack facility in Port Isabel. So that's just less amount of money that, that is rolling into the economy. U.S. Coast Guard Lieutenant Roberto Lopez says the investigation as to why the boat caught fire continues. He says without a boat to pinpoint where the fire started, it will be heavily based on the crew's accounts. Lieutenant Lopez tells us right now it's too early to tell if they will impose any fines for oil spilled in the ocean. He says they will be meeting with the boat owner on Thursday. Live from the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.